Today is All Tithe Sunday. 20% of our church is giving 95% of our income. That's not good. And so you say, well, that means the other 80% are giving the other 5%. Nope. I got a hard number I need you to hear. You ready? Listen good. 47% of our church gives nothing at all. Forty-seven percent of our church gives nothing at all. So when we say St. Mark is doing ministry, St. Mark is having this halo effect, St. Mark is blessing lives, St. Mark is, everybody can't say it. In fact, 47 percent of our members can't say we. If you are already giving, keep doing what you're doing. If you only give sometimes, be encouraged to become a regular tither. If you don't give, start today and unlock your potential. We are bringing our tent to God as we set our giving on fire. A gospel-driven person makes giving a non-negotiable. Scholarship applications are now available. If you are graduating from high school or are a continuing student, don't miss this chance to receive extra money to help with your college education. Visit the My St. Mark section of smark.org and download and complete the application today. You have one more week to order your St. Mark branded t-shirts. Youth sizes are available in addition to the adult sizes in the popular baseball style shirts. Visit the My St. Mark section of smark.org to place your order today. And don't forget to get your $10 grab bag at Media Sales in the atrium and shop to sell on the gym floor. There's a wide selection of CDs and DVDs and previous shirt designs for you to choose from. We even have some books available. This applies only to items on the gym floor. So fill up your grab bag today. I lost my daughter to leukemia. I lost my mother because we could not find a bone marrow match if i didn't have a bone marrow transplant i wouldn't be here today there's so many people out there that need your help all it takes is a simple swab it's such a little thing to do to be a hero to somebody like my donor is to me it's the most amazing feeling you can help save someone there's n there's no bigger gift than that every three minutes in the united states someone is diagnosed with a blood cancer or one of 70 other serious illnesses of the blood. For many patients, a bone marrow transplant is the best chance of survival, where 30% of patients can find a matching donor in their families. 70%, nearly 14,000 each year, must rely on a benevolent stranger to step up and donate. This is the case with our own deacon, Corey Adams, who recently learned he has aplastic anemia. You know, I had just left Sunday school and uh, I'm an ambassador for Christ here, so we I was in the front area greeting as normal each Sunday. And then I noticed that you know, I started losing my vision. People that I knew when I came through the door, I didn't even recognize them no more. I started not even being able to read some of the letters and, and different things like that. So I knew something was going on major with me. So I uh, informed um, the other ambassador that, you know, I needed to leave, you know, because you know, I wasn't feeling well. So transitioned. Uh, on at the church and ran into a nurse here uh, named Sheila Newton who I asked you know if I need to go to the doctor on a Sunday where would I go so she informed me that you know uh, St. Vincent had two clinics one on University and one in the promenade area we got out there um, they discovered that you know I had all these different things like the sores in my mouth and the, a lot of the butt clots around my neck and I explained to them about the fatigue they were going to do a blood draw, but they wouldn't be able to get the results for 24 hours later. So they informed me that I need to go to the emergency room right now. We transitioned to the emergency room over there at Baptist, and um, that's when I noticed I started, you know, really getting sick, started having a really bad headache, started hemorrhaging. And after that, I don't remember anything. Next thing you know, I was in ICU for five days and really didn't know I was here. Um, Baptist diagnosed it as aplastic anemia, but 
they wasn't a facility that could treat it, so they transitioned me to UAMS. And I was in UAMS for 10 days. Right now, I'm just currently just going through the process of just the therapy. I you know, go, train, go to UAMS three days a week, do the different blood draws and things like that. Sometimes I have to have blood transfusion and plate transfusion um, during that time period. But the, re the registry is very important. Um, we discovered that uh, the African American database is only 30 30 percent of uh, the U.S. population, which is, you know, I feel it's just just sad. Versus, you know, the Caucasian American has a 70 percent database. Um, a lot of it is just, you know, people are, are unaware of it. You know, um, what bone marrow uh, transplants are. You know, we we're aware of, you know, donating blood or organ transplants, but when it comes to bone marrow, I think a lot of people are just unaware of actually what it is, but there's a misconception of the process of what you have to go through in order to be tested. Um, it's just a simple swab of the mouth, and that's pretty much it. No needles in the spine or, or anything like that. So it's just a simple process of getting swabbed and getting registered. Next Sunday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., Come learn more about how bone marrow and stem cell donation can be a life-saving treatment for people like Corey. Then register for your chance to give a patient a second chance at life.